cardboard deck instant due for our first puppet show event ever. Thank you. And when I say our, I mean my wonderful venue and all the families who have been supporting cardboard deck for the few months now, for since just January. We've been having after school programs and we've got summer camps coming up. In fact, there's still a few slots available for our toy theater and Kamishibai uh, summer camp. Toy theater. You like toys, right? Yeah, it's kind of like that. That's a play with toys. That's kind of what we do here. We have lots of making here that we do on 3D printers as well as cardboard, of course, and Pinbox 3000. That's the product that we created here. And this space is also brought to you by Pinbox 3000. You can see more at pinbox3000.com. Yeah, that's the pinball machine that we created. Sharing cardboard with the kids in our community wasn't enough. We had to send it out into the world, and so we put all of our best ideas into one product. It became the Pinbox 3000. Oh, no, it's seventh year. Pretty amazing for me. <laughs> and uh, that's the kind of creative economy we want to create, and we want our kids to see that you can have a fun and exciting uh, little side gig doing some puppet shows and some music and you know interacting with kids in our community and doing great things. So my name is Ben Matchstick. Welcome again, and we're so excited to have Justin, who's an old friend of ours from Vermont Vaudeville and Modern Times Theater. Maybe you've seen some of his other shows, the Punch and Judy show. Um, yes. Yeah, so. I Punch and Judy. Yeah. Did you see that show? Did you get peed on by the puppets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a spoiler. <laughs> no peas tonight. No peas. Tonight. All right. Let's have a big round of applause for our friend Justin. All right, uh, so I am going to do a puppet show, as Ben said. But before we do the puppet show, it's very important that we all get ready for it. You know what you have to do? Yep. What do you have to do? <laughs> yeah, Sorry. okay, you're demonstrating. Very good. Yeah, yeah we, we all have to get our faces warmed up, because during the show, there's going to be laughing and yelling and screaming, perhaps vigorous smiling for the shy. Uh, so what we're going to do is just get our faces all warmed up. It's really easy. Just wash my face, do what I do with my face with your face. Easy, right? <laughs> Easy, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, okay. We're gonna start by make, making our faces very, very small. So we're gonna get the brows down really low and get your mouth up. Okay. 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 Like that, just the diagonal. Okay, good. Slap out your mustache. Okay, grow a mustache, then slap it out. Grow one. Someone you love. Okay, now we're going to move north to this part of the face here. Very important part of the face. All the people with masks, look around, show your neighbors how important that part of your face is. Uh, what we're going to do is work the forehead region to tone and strengthen. This is a take home exercise. Everybody can do this. You go home every morning, every night, in front of the mirror, a couple of minutes. At the end of a month, you'll have a beautiful six pack for you. Do five eyebrow lifts on each side, starting on my left side, that's your right side. Here we go, all together. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. All together. One, two, three, four, five. Do wave. Okay, so laughing is not a good excuse for not doing it. Older people, uh, you will feel a lot of discomfort in the morning if you don't you know, properly warm up. At the very least, have a Gatorade after the show. And, uh, and uh, get a good night's rest. Okay, we're going to finish all together with one of these. Just go. Okay, no way can do that. Um, that's okay, uh, but I advise you to learn how to do it. It's really good for the cheeks and the fascia of the face. So um, it's really simple. Just when you get home, you can just Google. There's a good YouTube audience. It's spelled. So, uh, does everybody feel warmed up? Yeah. Normally we do a group sneeze, but we'll wait until, that, <laughs> until they lift the state of emergency and then we'll do that. Um, so, 
I have to get the puppets. So before I do that, uh, I have something here in this box, something that is very special. Would you like to see it? Yes. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> it's not a sheet cake. Okay. Um, what I have in here, because I have to leave to get the puppets, and I don't want to leave you alone, so I'm going to leave you in really good hands when I go. Um, first of all, this. This is a, a sterling silver platter. Uh, it's a sterling silver platter. That belonged to my grandfather. He left it to me. And uh, he actually had it with him on the Mayflower. So this is a very special place. And then um, here, the oh, If it had fallen on the floor, I would have canceled the show. Um, here is my grandfather himself. He's got a few words to say. And I'll leave you in his capable hands while I go get the puppet. <laughs> Words of wisdom there. <laughs> Is he still talking? Yeah. Did you learn anything good yet? No. <laughs> Sounds like a lively debate. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Now I got the puppets here in the box. Um, so as you may have guessed, the show is called the Buffo Box Show, and it does feature a cardboard box. Um, a few words of warning about cardboard boxes. A cardboard box is not a toy. <laughs> Question. Yes. See, the reason why it's not a toy is while your cat is in there having a good time, your parents are likely to take the box to the recycling center. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Also, also, maybe you're in the box having a good time. Maybe somebody puts a tablecloth over the box to make it look nice. And then a tired parent uses it to stand on to change a high light bulb. <laughs> Cardboard is not a toy. <laughs> one more. Uh, one more. Cardboard can cause severe paper cutitis. <laughs> Side effects of using cardboard boxes can include dry eyes, dry nose, dry ear, uh, vomiting, all of the poo poo words, uh, dry sense of humor. <laughs>
Stimulating intermission, don't you think? <laughs> and now, uh, no, 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 I don't want, no, oh, no, 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 I don't want to put it back on, no. Oh, it's hot, oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, that's a little bad. I'm, uh, I'm a little damp, but you have a hanky?
Pick it up. Pick it up. And the owl's neighbor 
Bella's neighbor, who's not an owl. It's a rat. Excellent. Wonderful. That's just wonderful. Now I'm feeling quite... Let's see, you have some trash as well. Very good. You just put it in the can. Thank you. You're interrupting a perfectly good nighttime scene. Anyway, as I was saying, all the nighttime sounds all together now. Don't mind him. Just keep the nighttime sound. Yes. Oh, very good. Very good. What could, po could possibly spoil an evening night? to perform my final trick of the evening. I shall now, do not attempt this at home. I shall now attempt to bring in the tide. Oh, the tide, 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 tide. Ah, there it is. There we are. Isn't that nice and pleasant? Can you smell the salty air? Can you feel the briny breeze upon your face? That's because you live in a landlocked state. <laughs> ah, yes. There we are. A nice, lovely swaying motion. Everyone sway with me. Very good. Yes. Yes, isn't this quite lovely? Oh, yeah, you're not enjoying it? Oh, you get a bit motion sick, do you? And it just so happens that one of our patrons who won the raffle is here right now and they didn't get their syrup yet. So we'd like to award our syrup to Hillary Montgomery. Of course, Mr. Clemson's very own uh, liquid gold. Congratulations. Thank you. 
have your push cards we can punch up. Where we can just throw things at the performers. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks so much. If you want to find out more, like if you sign up for tickets, thank you for buying tickets in advance. But if you came late, there's a mailing list outside. You can sign up, and uh, we'll let you know when the next one happens. Cool.